need the plastic buckle, they fit on with a steel slider. You can take them off and put them on very easily. You put them in the same grommet with the other buckle. So then if you want, you can use the plastic buckle as long as you're still on the ground. Now, if you're going to hoist this thing or take it off that tower or something like that, use that metal buckle because plastic buckles are not safe for hoisting. So we give you this option if you're on the ground, it's something quick, it's very easy, and you're going to be able to do it. But once we start hoisting, usually you'll have a little more time and you use that metal buckle. So anyhow, after you get all the straps fastened, tuck them in so you don't step on them and trip. Okay, at the foot end, you've got a couple of options. Like I said earlier, if there's a spinal injury or if you're going through a real tight hole or something, put the feet together. If there is no spinal injury, it's usually more comfortable to leave them splayed and sticking out. They don't hang up on things uh, very easily, so don't be too concerned about that. We've already been down, been through that several times. And, uh, it isn't a problem unless it's a real confined area, that, uh, like a hatch or something like that. <coughs> I'm going considerably slower than I would if I was actually doing it, so. And you don't have to worry about pulling these to adjust it. When you pull up on this, it will slide through the grommet and it's adjusted. And I leave these extra long so that somebody standing can control the foot end of this thing and guide it if you're going down a stairway or whatever. If you're not going to use them, tuck them inside out of the way. Now, if we need to drag this thing before we start hooking up for getting it ready for for uh, uh, hoisting and stuff, we can drag this thing very easily this way. But now, if you need to drag it hands free, what we'll do? Pick up all the junk that we had laying around, stick it inside the bag so nobody knows we were here. Hopefully. Got extra webbing so I can get around my beer belly. Clip this in behind here. Onto this strap, pull this handle out of the way. Okay, now we can drag this thing hands free. And if it gets in a hole, like I said earlier, this is at arm's length. You can get a good pull on it. And if we need some extra help, now the reason I have this so long is if you're in a skiing or snow situation, you don't want your skis interfering with the stretcher. So this extends this handle out to where you've got room for your skis. And you have to understand this is going to gather snow. If you've got them in a sleeping bag, great. If you don't, make a horseshoe out of a blanket around his head and uh, you know, roll up a blanket, make the horseshoe shape, and then put another blanket roll up in his head end here let it stick out and put a flap of it over his face so you don't take debris into his back. Okay, but now we're not in a snow situation, so we need to drag this thing a considerable distance. So what we're going to do, we'll take this strap again, clip it on here, and here. So can I get three guys, please? Okay. Uh, okay. Front. You and I can take the front, we'll turn it around Get and drag it. We'll drag it this way a little bit. And then Next three. Drag it. Let's go over the Right here is good. So, that's why we have the, the uh, toe strap. It just makes everybody's life a lot easier. I like having a lot of extra people to help me. Uh, okay, if we're going to hoist this yeah. thing. Uh, if we're going to hoist this, I think. 
we should look at the way it's laced first. Well, first of all, let's talk about these little extra handles we were discussing. Uh, first of all, before we do that, I want to be sure everybody, you know, if, if we got eight guys here, I don't want to have four of us carrying this thing. Not me, I'm lazy. So we'll put these through here. A couple through here. Okay. Now we got four more handles on there. Spacing is not exactly great, but at least we have the ability for four more people to help us out. Uh, we could put them through here if we needed. But now this handle is longer than this one. It's like this. So if you have a tall and short guy situation, you can do that. But if you have two guys side by side that are the same height, fine. Look your hand through this way and like this, it's the same. So that's been thought out carefully. The webbing is inexpensive, but what we're trying to do is do the thinking and just let you know how it works. Okay. If we're going to hoist this thing in a horizontal position, like I mentioned earlier, we have uh, two 10,000 pound tensile strength slings. First thing I'm going to do is find the marking that says head strap, okay? So I know which one I've got. I'm going to loosen this strap. And because I don't want to use this plastic buckle, I'm going to pull it all the way down here out of the way. You okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to sleep on you. <laughs> okay, now that's safer. The next thing I want to do is protect his head. One thing you want to be careful of is you don't jerk this down and gouge his nose with this. You put another, put a little cut on there. So I've already had that happen to me. So if you know about it, it won't happen to you, hopefully. Okay, you get down under here. Tie this in just a simple overhand knot. Give him this, it'll give him something to play with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's about the same size. Now we want to loosen this strap up a little know? bit so we can get the slings in. <laughs> There are two angled slots here, and there's two angled slots here. Those are the ones for the lift slings. The other ones are for flotation. The lift slings don't go through these little dicky slots. You have to, well, you can really force it if you had to, wanted to, but they really aren't, they, they're too hard to get them through there. So people are gonna use the easy one, and it's the correct one. So get it through this slot, bring it underneath the head end. And also notice I didn't ask anybody for any help because this is all designed for one man to do. However, it's easier with two. So uh, the main thing is I want to show the capability for one man and you're going to figure it out on your own because you're not going to work any harder than I want to. So anyhow, once you get that in there, equalize the length of the straps. Don't forget to tighten this strap. We don't want them to come sailing out of it. And we'll go to the foot end. Same thing here, loosen that a little bit, give yourself some room to work. Use the angle slots at the lower end. Make sure that you don't have any twists in the straps. Yeah. Equalize the length, tighten the lower strap again. And we'll take our large carabiner, start passing the slings. 